you mentioned that, you know, when you first started trying to get sober, that you couldn't even imagine what you could do that was fun if you weren't drinking or using. And I wonder what you would tell your past self about how you understand fun now and what fun is and how to have fun without drinking or using. Oh yeah. Great question. So, you know, I guess I'd say I'm just imagining myself like talking to myself at that age, you know, I'm getting emotional because it's so painful for so long. You know, that was, I tell people that that was the hardest problem I ever dealt with in my life. Me being at my mom's deathbed was hard. My dad's death was hard. My relationship with my brother is complicated, but that, because it just lasted for so long, decades so painful and uh so i would say that first of all i just i love you and i care about you and i, I know I, I know life is hard life is hard and uh, it's it's hard to imagine not being able to drink, smoke, use. Uh, and I can just tell you, having been through what I've been through and been there for so long is that give it a chance. It's, it's, it's way better than you imagine. It's, it's going to be hard at first. Yes, of course, because it's, it's going to take some time to get used to this new way of life, this new way of thinking. Uh, But don't, but also be, be mindful of like the, the problems, the downsides of it. You know, we tend to romanticize the, the good parts of it and then deny and stuff and push away and repress and suppress the downside of it. And, uh, so, uh, so take a look at that and, uh, and, and give sobriety a chance. And, and, and I'll often tell other people who are struggling with this problem. And I tell myself too, that like find, ha have fun as much as possible in sober ways. So, you know, maybe it's listening to music. Or maybe it's going into nature. Maybe it's doing a, a meditation technique here or there. Or be with friends. Uh, go to comedy. Do whatever. Because you need to persuade yourself that you are, uh, that, that life is worth living and Life is fun and rewarding and fulfilling without alcohol, without drugs. And uh, so, and, and, uh, and give it a chance. And, 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 and if you can, and anything you can do to there. And also I'll say that these, these temptations that we have sometimes, you know, they're, they don't last forever. And I think that was one of the, hard things for me and maybe maybe uh one of the helpful things about vipassana meditation is like focusing on gone focusing on 
uh, that that the impermanence of of phenomena. Whereas when I was drinking and using, it was like if I felt terrible, I just it, at that moment it feels like it's going to last forever. Like I didn't have a very good ability to to like uh, just be with that difficulty with that difficult emotion and and ride it out till you get to the other side where it goes away it's fades and you're 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 at peace again you're happy again you're relaxed again whatever it is and so i would say yeah if there's any whatever you can do to uh to get through those tough times and that's why, I mean, AA has some really good, you know, suggestions. Like you can call someone up. If you can call someone up and they can be sort of this person that you can rely on to, to just get you through that, that tough moment or period of time, whatever it is. Maybe it's uh, a few minutes or a few hours or a day. Uh, that if you can get through that, um, it, this, this difficulty will end and you will. And then when you wake up in the morning, I, I'll, I'd say that too. Notice that like you get up in the morning and you're not hung over, no, no headache, no blah, no low energy feeling terrible in the body or negative thoughts about oh shit i did this to myself again i can't believe it oh i feel so terrible i feel ashamed i feel remorse why did i do that damn it i feel terrible now and uh how am i gonna feel better and often it'd be like i'll oh, just okay make it to happy hour and then at happy hour hair of the dog go to your favorite bar have some drinks you'll feel better no it's just a terrible, vicious cycle. So uh, notice how good you feel in the morning when you wake up full of energy, full of vim and vigor, bright-eyed and bushy tail, you know, just clear mind, clear body, healthy body, no problems. Well, you know, none of the problems that you have with, with uh, abusing these substances may have other issues, of course, but uh, at least those pernicious problems that you deal with when you're struggling with alcohol or drug abuses, you don't have those to deal with on top of everything else. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that, Harrison. It's really beautiful to hear and um, sort of on the one hand, feeling into what it might mean for your past self to hear those words and how much courage that might have given him if he'd heard from you. And I uh, would hope that those words might touch someone who needs them now and in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for, for saying that. 